hold on. Hebrews chapter 4 verse 14 to 16 Since we have a great high priest who has gone through the heavens, Jesus the Son of God, let us hold firmly to the faith we profess. For we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weaknesses, but we have one who has been tempted in every way just as we are, yet was without sin. Let us then approach the throne of grace with confidence so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. Have you ever felt like that's all you can do? Things are out of control. You are not sure what to do. The question is, what do you hang on to? The author of Hebrews says that we should hold firmly to the faith we profess. But this is not some blind faith. Rather, we hold on to a faith that is in a God who cares and empathizes with our situation. Jesus knows what it is to be human, to suffer, to be tempted, to be abandoned, beaten, and killed. He also knows how to love unconditionally, to forgive every imaginable sin, to be tempted and not to give in, and to rise from the dead. Is it no wonder that the author gives one of the most incredible pieces of advice ever given? He writes, let us then approach the throne of grace with confidence. He is suggesting that you can come boldly right into the presence of God without worry of repercussion. And what will you get when you come right into the very presence of God? He promises that you will receive mercy and find grace to help you in your time of need. So today, when you feel anxious or worried, hold on. If you find yourself alone and depressed, Hold on. If everything you hear is negative and panic sets in, hold on. If you become angry and bitterness starts to fester, hold on. Hold on to His mercy and grace because they will never fail. Let's pray. Father, I come to you and hold on today. I thank you that you are the great high priest that never sinned but became the perfect sacrifice for my sin. I place my faith in you, Father, and come to your throne of grace with confidence. Thank you for your mercy and grace that is always there in my time of need. Amen.